so welcome to my um, eighth lecture series it is about our uh, lathe operations so in earlier class we just seen about what do you mean by lathe and uh, what kind of operations has been made why we need to go for machining process how the lathe can increase in the production uh, in what way the lathe contribute for the industrial growth so in this way we just seen in detail regarding this lathe working and its types has been seen in our earlier session this session which is exclusively about lathe operations okay so what kind of operations which we can possibly make with the help of lathe machine and uh, in associated with that how come the lathe operations which will reducing the human efforts and it can uh, improve the production and productivity so in this way we are going to study in detail okay so lathe having so many operations uh, in their production for example if i want to remove the outside material or if i want to reducing the diameter of the given workpiece i need to go for the turning process with the help of the turning process i can be able to convert uh, the large dia size shaft into small dia size shaft in terms of radius or in terms of diameter okay if i am going to reducing the dia it means it coming under the category of turning process wherever in case if i want to reduce the length of the workpiece okay if i want to produce the flat surfaces uh flat surfaces means from the beginning to the end okay if i want to make the flat surfaces from the beginning to the end okay by making a grooves we need to do that is what do you call that phasing process so generally we use to make the component with the help of casting that it has been done in earlier okay so once the casting has been done the second process we need to reducing the dia of the machining process okay we need to reduce the unwanted diameter of the rod since it because the required application which is mainly focusing on reducing the diameter okay reducing the diameter means by default it is coming under the process of turning and when i'm going for phasing it can able to produce a flat surface at the end of the workpiece for making the phase grooves okay grooves means there is a gap in between the uh, hole okay and uh, we just need to make a screw like appearance inside the fact uh, inside the uh, screw we need to make a threading like appearance okay uh, for that we need to make a grooves and if we go for goring boring means boring surface is nothing but i am going to increasing the dia of the drilled hole for example if i am using the 70 mm dia shaft in this i just make a drilling in 25 mm dia at the center okay i need the 25 mm is to be raised for 4 mm for example i just want 29 mm size dia so how can i improve the dia means i need to make there is a boring process so with the help of the boring i can able to enlarge the hole or the cylindrical cavity and following that drilling drilling means for a new plane surface i just want to make a drilling okay so in that drilling process this is what you called um, to produce the hole and to finishing the drilled hole for example i make a drilling in that uh, sample what i need to do is i just need to finish the drilled hole in order to achieving the machining 
I need to finishing the drilled hole. For that process, I need to go for reaming. Okay, and threading threading is the process which helps to produce external or internal threads on the workpiece. Wherever, in case of the knurling, it can able to produce a regular shaped roughness in the terms of work pieces okay that is what do you call that knurling hence i conclude the major operations is turning phasing boring drilling reaming threading knurling these are the major operations which has been done